Yeah. Ladies. Might want to get a napkin. Yeah. Boomer exploded. Real babes are scary. Eek! Ah, no! We rescued Tippy! Tippy was hiding it all along, she's an imposter! Silly goose. Poof! Oh, Bowserize it! Rumble, rumble, rumble! Hello once again, Internet, for episode 24, not 23. And in the last episode, we beat Francis and got the next pure heart while rescuing Tippy. And then we came back here to 3 1 to find this pixel here who said he would join us if we came back with Tippy. I'm just glad I could help you with that daring mission to infiltrate the nerd lair. Right. So, uh, I guess there's no need for me to stay here and give out tips. Because I've done my job. I've got nothing to do now. Oh, hey, how about I tag along with you guys? Well, I've made up my mind. I'm coming along whether you want me to or not. And you do want this, because this is a very, very useful pixel. Barry, the prickly pixel, has joined your group. Use Barry to create a spiky barrier around you. There's plenty of dangerous types wandering out there. Let's stick together. It'll be safer for both of us that way. So what you do is you just press 1, and you create this barrier. This is a very useful move, because not only does it allow you to damage any enemies... There's probably a piranha plant around here I can demonstrate this on. Ah! Boom! There we go. And you can also use it to reflect projectiles. So, keep that in mow. See? Well, that kind of killed him, but yeah. It also lets you damage the- wow. That's interesting. <laughs> anyway. Return pipe. And now that we're back in Flipside, I'm gonna jump down here. Whee! Now, before we keep going, there's a quick little minor thing I want to show. Is this guy? I dig this tower so much. That okay, wait, that's not him. Okay, apparently the color black makes him mad. Racist. Anyway, let's go down here. One of these dudes, as you recall. I believe I talked to this guy at the beginning of the game, and he, he commented on it being incredibly unlikely that the world was going to, well, be collapsed by that giant thing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, mm, this town's so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all you can really ask out of life. Peace might be getting a little old. I kind of wish something wild would happen. Like, say, just for example, a giant squid thing attacked, or a duel with a huge turtle. Oh boy, that would be cool. Too bad plot twists like that are completely impossible. Right. Well, like, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to bother showing this, but I, the, there was a guy around here who commented on the black hole thing as incredibly unlikely, but if you keep co keep coming back to talking to him at the end of each chapter, what he says will change. And by the time you get near the end, he'll be, like, completely freaking out. But anyway, we're going to take a quick visit to Merlin. Um. Okay, apparently that's not what you do. I for totally forgot. Right. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> well, it's not like anyone is surprised by me forgetting something by now. Okay, so... Hmm, I forget where we haven't been yet. I can't remember what's up here. Come on, Mario. Jump! There we go. I'm just gonna make a quick check. Oh, wait, I remember now. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Back down again. Oh boy, I hope my batteries don't die again. Okay, so we just keep on walking. Flip back to 3D as usual. Walk over here. And now, as you may recall, over here, there were a bunch of pegs. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to get out Thudly. I totally forgot where he was. Now you could just pound all these in, but you'll find that doesn't work. If you flip to 3D, some of them have arrows on them. The arrows tell you what the way... Okay, you just pound the two on the left, and there you go. You're done. And there's the heart pillar. And away we go. 
get the awesome music once again. Can you tell I'm tone deaf? Alrighty, and the door opens to chapter four. And whoosh! Alright, so that was pretty straightforward. Okay, but before we go there, there's actually something I want to show. It's just a little minor Easter egg, but I want to show it anyway. Um, I believe I'll cut ahead to it. So I will see you guys in a minute. Aha, here it is. If you go into, um, what's her name's Saffron's house here, there's a giant DS. Greetings, Gourmet. Welcome to the high-tech database of the food. Of food. The dining specializer. That's the dining specializer. It gives an ingredient list for your favorite recipes. You can even use it to get information on where to find the elusive ingredients. I don't think it's loaded with all the recipes yet, though. Fortunately, it will update any time you bring a new recipe data, sugar. You should find some cooking data somewhere and put it in there. Please select the recipe or ingredient you want to know more about. So, you can use this to... Erm... Um, made from a thunder rage. Shock and Guinea that will zap any foe that touches you. So it's basically a vault room. So you can use... Okay, so it's just a list of stuff that you can get, you know. I don't use these, but you can if you want to. Yeah, as you've known, but, well, it's obviously just a DS Lite. Something interesting is that thing is... There's a texture for this in-game, but it's not apparently called that, but this actually called the... They called it the Intellido IS, I think. <laughs> Which is a portmanteau of... Portmanteau, no, you don't pronounce the T, of Intelligent Systems and Nintendo, obviously. It's kind of cool. It's a little Easter egg there. So if you want to get more recipes for that, you just find some cooking discs. You'll find those as you progress through the game a little bit. Oh boy, I, used, I wasted a lot of time with that. So, let's head through to chapter 4. Wow, it didn't... Doesn't it usually pop up something there? Anyway. Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and Mario... Tippy and the Mario gang grew closer. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned them to them for both. Bleh! What awaited was vaster and stranger than anything they'd encountered so far. In order to claim the pure heart, they would have to endure new, far-out trials. What could this mean? In Chapter 4, 1? Into Outer Space. Oh, man. And, here we go. Maybe this is just me, but I think this that, that this chapter has some of the best music in the game. I just love the soundtrack for this place. Not this level's maybe not just this level specifically, I mean all the levels. Hmm, stars everywhere. I believe we're in outer space, almost certainly. <laughs> what troubles you, Mario? Ah, yes, of course, we seem to be lacking air. You need that, don't you? <laughs> oh, gracious me, what am I to do? Um well, let me see. Um um um, um then well, well but so uh, No! Well, that could have gone better. Hey, please wake up. Hey, there we go. We're good. You alright, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. I don't really know how I got us all out of there. It sort of happened. I've already shown you can teleport us. We won't last so there as we are. Perhaps we should ask Merlin's advice. Plus, I could have just used the return pipe if it was really that big of a problem. Okay, so... Um, I believe we'll go talk to Merlin and then probably end this episode off then. Alright, I can... Oh, wait, I can't skip this. Damn you, sideways elevator! But, anyway. Let's talk to Merlin. See if he has any advice on how to survive in space. Oh-ho, that was certainly quick work. You've already found the next pure heart. 
No, Merlin. Uh, that door led us straight into outer space. Space? Oh, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm, well, if you had a space helmet, you'd be alright, I imagine. That's not how it works, Merlin. And you have one? Of course, I don't have one! But I imagine that something like a space helmet would suffice. This is a prime example of Nintendo logic. Just so happened to... Oh, blast it! What now? Oh, double blast it all! I've cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space and gave it to someone in town. To who? Oh, just some random boy. Seemed more convenient than recycling it. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get it back from him. Fortunately, I know exactly where this kid is. But we are going to have to save that for the next episode. So, next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario, we will search for that kid and hopefully get the space helmet substitute back from him. So, see you guys then. Bye.